All right, I'm Paul Howe, Combat Shooting and Tactics. I want to talk about the CSAT Combat Site made by Excess Sites. This site uh, developed years ago. I developed it for both hunting and tactical training. I was out hunting one day, and I was using the AR a lot of times, and what happens is I was having to go from open areas to brushy areas, having to constantly switch my, my sight back and forth for the shot. Well, what ended up happening is my hand's always off the weapon. I'm not ready to shoot. Tactical environments. When I teach the basic SWAT students, what happens is when I teach them to find across a parking lot. They end up going from a small aperture, get up close, go to a big aperture in a room, and come back out in a hallway that's 70 yards long and have to go back to small aperture. Well, every time they do that and they take their hands off their weapon in a tactical environment, they're not ready to shoot. They're not ready to fight. So what I wanted to do is have one site that we could actually apply across the spectrum and their hands stay on their weapon the whole time. With the help of excess sites, we developed the CSAT combat site. It will fit in multiple apertures right now, or bases, and a lot of questions about how it's used. What I did is I took the site and I co-witnessed the top notch and the peep, which means I made it so you can zero it at seven yards, point A and point M impact. So in a room, I have no, more, no longer have an offset two and a half inches from your line of sight to your line of bore. Right here on the weapon, two and a half inches. I took that out at seven yards. So it's point and click. Where you aim is where you hit. At further distances, what I do is I move my eye simply right down to the peep and I make the shot. So what I do is I zero it at 100 yards, point aim, point of impact. Where I cut is where I hit. And I can use the notch for rapid speed shooting, surgical speed shooting, seven yards, room size dis distances, without taking my hands off the weapon. So people ask me, is, how do you do it? Well, what I do when I bring the weapon up, I talk about front hand, back hand, head eye position. When I index the weapon, I bring my nose charging handle. If these two spots are the same, my eye is in the same spot. So nose charging handle, cheek, and when I look to the sight, what I'm seeing is your eye, I have a focal plane right now, your eye can focus on one spot at a time. So it should be on the front sight. The rear should be blurry. People try to make the rear sight crisp and clean, you can't do it. Your eye can only focus on one spot. So what I do is I get my front hand, back hand, I come up here and then I look and I do one time and I just make sure it's level. And I get the front sight crisp against the background and I break the shot. So my eye doesn't go back and forth. What it does is just make sure it's level within the notch. So at seven yards for surgical shot, I'm right there. What happens is it's level, I break the shot. If I need to go distance shot, I can just do this, that little much, that little bit with my head, and I now can make a 100-yard shot. So what happens is by just that minor adjustment with my head eye position, I can go from 7 yards, point of aim, point of impact on a surgical shot, to 100 yards, point of aim, point of impact. With that 100-yard zero, I can take it out to 300 yards. If you use my zero system, what happens is when they aim at the human body, that 100-yard zero, I aim right here at 100 where I cut, it's where I hit. It drops about that much at 200 yards. So now I have a zero with this weapon that goes zero to 200 yards. Don't even have to think about it. Realistically, if I aim right here at 300, it'll hit me in the belt. So I have a gun right now with one zero, iron sights, I can go zero to 300 yards, one zero. So I can take that rifle across the spectrum and make a hit. If I need to come into a room, make a surgical shot, what I can do is do that and not even think about it. I just use the pistol notch and where I aim is where I hit. Generally, I see a lot of problems out there in the tactical world. They forget about the line of sight, line of bore offset. They aim right here and they hit lower in the jaw. Well, I don't want to do that. If I aim right there, I want it to be a point and click. So that's why I developed that sight. So I hope that explanation helps you. Great sight. That's what I run on my weapons. All right, we want to talk about tactical situations now. Where would this be used? Okay, let me take it from a range environment now into a tactical situation. School is the most common. You may have to fight your way across a parking lot. Again, use a small aperture doing that. Again, distance shots. When do I use the, the notch? When do I use the peep? The notch I use realistically seven to 10 yards. Anything outside of 10 yards, I'll probably go to the peep aperture. Now, I fight my way across a parking lot. You gotta understand about schools in the environment. 
You go into a room, you may have a seven to 10 yard shot. You walk out in the hallway. Those hallways are 70 to 100 yards long. There's actually some schools with 200 yard hallways. So you may have, you may have to go on demand, make a shot. This will allow you to do that without taking your hands off the weapon. All you do is move your eye down. So again, up close, personal, use a notch fast like a pistol. Again, you've already trained your folks, if you're LE, law enforcement out there, how to use a pistol first. So they, are, they understand that relationship. All you're doing now is training them how to use the peep, which is very simple. And again, it's just a simple maneuver, or moving your eye just a little bit, and they can make a surgical hit now as far as they can see with this weapon system. I tell people zero to 300 yards. And again, seven yards, line of sight, line of bore is taken out, point of aim, point of impact. Point and click where you want to hit, and that's where the bullet will go.